My name is Rick Wallen. I'm the bison ecologist. I'm the team leader for our bison ecology program at Yellowstone National Park. When I look at this little clip here, I see a very young calf, probably born in the last half an hour, maybe as much as two hours. Uh, there's some variability in how adult females deal with newborns, but the first thing they're interested in doing is cleaning off all of the birth material. Uh, the young calves um, survive best by being unscented for a few days until they can build enough muscle that they can run with the whole group. So this female is obviously, you know, trying to get the little calf to imprint on her, um, taking its first few steps, starting to build a little bit of coordination um, between the brain and the legs. The bison calves are generally born in um, either late April or early May, and their survival is really due to safety in numbers. The animals um, defend the calves as a group, and they are quite successful at defending the young calves against predators. Um, once that little red calf grows for about a week or so, it'll probably be able to ford the rivers and, and run away from predators just fine with the rest of the group. Um, they'll match up with another set of uh, females with little calves and they'll have their little nursery group and um, in the next month or so they'll accumulate larger and larger groups of animals. And I think that the, really the most important thing for that little calf at this point in time that you're seeing on the video is simply getting some coordination and imprinting on mother because there's going to be many times in a big crowd of buffalo that somehow she has to understand what mom's voice sounds like or what mom's behaviors are so that she can connect up with the right um, adult female to get fed. Um, the other thing that that little calf needs to do is take that first drink um, from mom and um, they get an enormous amount of protein in that colostrum and those, you know, those first few drinks from feeding with their mom. Uh, you can see the mom's still trying to finish the birthing process. She has to expel kind of the remaining part of the placenta. Sometimes that takes a couple hours or the whole rest of the day.